So this is the first fight versus Trap House Abduct. You get a shout out here. Um, we we share Discord pretty much, so like you know, we're, we're, when we're facing each other, um, it's pretty it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, they actually watch me hit them too and stuff. Um, Anyways, so for this one, I think it was uh, it was pretty good. I was actually kind of banking on that dizzy to be a bit slower, but it was actually good that it was it was quicker. So we got rid of the S3 first. Uh, this team is still very solid. I'm still testing it. Again, uh, for those who are watching, don't know Trap House is uh, is a top guild right now. At the video recording, I think they're top three right now. Um, Iggy being ranked seven. The matchmaking is whatever. I mean. There's no avoiding it. I'd rather fight the Trap House guys, because at least this would be a really fun, fun guild war. I got lucky on this resist here. Uh, that could have set me back in terms of uh, Dizzy would have been able to like push me back if I was stunned, and then I don't even know when I would get another turn. The key here is obviously take out that Euphine ASAP, and uh, hope the RNG doesn't get your uh, get my Akatis in this case. My Akatis at this moment is like about 100 and... Well, with the buff, with the S3 buff, she'd be 150, but only 100 effect resistance, so she's no Momo. Um, I, I really gotta give her some better gear. She's still on a lot of 67s and uh, even 70s. Um, it's just that it's just so solid that I never never prioritize her for upgrades. Uh, this counter is actually really good. Uh, Roz makes a, a, a high, high end DPS pretty, pretty good. Um, we, argu arguably, I could have went with, with the, uh, what do you call it, um, like an S10, uh, but I was kind of more worried about the debuffs. The, from, uh, from Dizzy, the, uh, Roz here with a Robbie on a Draco plate would be, uh, pretty, pretty good because the Aureus damage would be, would be much less. So, um, I do take this comp and do some other fights. I really love uh, SC Raz, uh, uh, A Robbie and a healer. It's very solid. Yeah, I can see that uh, the Dizzy still uh, ended up debuffing my uh, Akates. But it, it was good that uh, my Akates is on immunity as well. I do like that. I don't like just running straight. Realistic if you run a straight uh, healer with high resist, you need at least over 250. And that's only assuming that you're, the debuff right, you're facing is 150. Um, it's Out usually not the case. I mean, with I-90s now, um, yeah. debuffers with 270 plus speed could have like 190 to 200 yeah. effect damage, yeah. which is just too crazy. Um, so heal. going with an immunity, especially if you want to you know, you. prevent your healer from I being uh, de decommissioned on the first turn, uh, immunity is like very, very good. Um, there's a lot of a lot of count reviews I, I, I review here, and uh, you see that that right, wasn't enough. That was that this. was a hundred. Um, that CC probably Burn. has like maybe 50, 40. Anyways, a hundred effect resistance without the buff, and it's not enough. So it's kind of it's kind of risky if you don't have immunity. Step back. Yeah, a lot of count reviews I reviewed. Um, they're high resistance heroes on like broken sets, and that could have been an immunity set. But of course, we all know RNG. The second fight here, uh, the concept is pretty simple. F clear, you can bait. Um, and I was thinking that uh, even if that Tenebria got the turn before my Siamon's protection, it's still relatively safe. I did get lucky, no defense break on my SSB, so that was, that was pretty much settled that <coughs> this uh, this comp, I won't take it out. Uh, take it out, take out mine. And the immunity buff is good there. I don't remember what I did. Oh, right, 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 I remember. Yeah, I was trying to just to see, like, I wanted to save my uh, S2 in case I couldn't nuke out anyone. And in case that F3 was on Norius, which I didn't know, um, I didn't take a look. Uh, I would be able to just nuke out, uh, nuke out someone else after. So just save, uh, give, having uh, two S3s, realistically. And I was surprised this was on a counter, but I guess I shouldn't be. Um, some people do run a counter tanny, especially for RTA. This one is just a pin her, pin her down. Don't hit my Ceramia because she has an attack buff. And then uh, ML can, I saw his. Uh, I mean, there's no way ML can will survive with the soldier. So, that one is this one. It's pretty quick. Good job, Abdur. Really fun. Second fight here, I went against Tatsuni. I actually know his gear very well. Um, so I don't even know what I was doing here. Uh, in retrospect, I mean, no destiny. 
You'll see stopping. what happens, but uh, it's a really fast Roz, and then uh, he has kind of like Lance as well. So, uh, this became a bit a bit scary. I had to protect the Sermia here, um, because uh, that, that was my plan, but I went with the wrong light bait. Uh, to be honest, I think I should have went with an F Maya, because F Maya would have a defense buff right here, and uh, it would help. That uh, Robbie is really hard. Um, and then that death break was did me no good. So right there, I'm like, I instantly lose. Like if I couldn't take out that Robbie, I, I would instantly lose. So there was only one shot. At this moment, there's a pause because I'm I'm typing to them in the Discord chat and going like LOL, and everybody else was like, everybody else watching was like LOL. Um, but yeah, it was really funny. But yeah, it was really hard to take out that Robbie too because. It had a death buff up, so I mean, this is a very solid team, honestly, there's a lot of RNG. And realistically, with uh, Tatsuni's, uh, Tatsuni's builds, you're, you're, you might lose a hero, at least. Even if you could win it, you might lose a hero. Um, this one was a bit risky, but it was the only thing I can do. But it was just, there's nothing I can do here. That, uh, I think that Rod actually... Yeah, 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 here, I remember. Yeah, that dual attack killed her, but... I didn't want to risk, I didn't know who I was hitting next. So, I think F Maya could have survived that. Yes, the defense break technically should still be Don't want be to there. Die. I'm not quite sure. I want to live. In terms of raw stats, my Eaton has like 7k more than my F Maya HP and uh, two, two K de uh, 200 defense more. But it's just that Should defense buff. I, I kind of kind of wish I, I tried out F Maya. Um, yeah, anyways, this one, this one was actually pretty uh, risky too. Again, knowing Tetsuni's uh, gear is really scary. Um, but uh, the key thing was to kill off that RB and... And uh, I have a reviver in a Robbie. Kill off the RB. Did I say RB? Yeah. So I got the Mind's Eye. I had to take the risk for the defense buff. I didn't know what I would be facing, but uh, it didn't strip my Angelica, which is good. I'll deal with this. And like, we had to kill that RBA ASAP, but uh, there was there was hardly any risk in terms of fight. the uh, ML Take Angie, this. very solid. And it heals on the kill, so it's kind of good to have. Basically, I have two dual attackers here. If my Robbie right, had the attack this. buff still, in terms of uh, LNC didn't strip, um, th these things, th this fight would have been quicker. This was a bit scary too, because the immortality doesn't last long on um, ML Angie. This is also another another reason why super super fast ML Angie may not be that good. I would say 200 speed right now is where I would put her at. If you could build her tanky enough to like out tank some cleaves, um, otherwise that happens. But at this point, I knew I won because there's nothing uh, there's nothing uh, Lilius and Alenti can do to kill an Robbie. unless I was defense broken the entire time and they lap me. But uh, with the po probability if of uh, countering and getting heals, um, it's okay. Roz does self heal too with his S3, so it's actually he's actually pretty safe to bring in a lot of fights as a, as a tank. Uh, here I was more of just uh, debating what I wanted to do, um, but it didn't really matter. I didn't land the defense break there. No, it would have been a one shot. Because I was thinking if I should just go for the defense buff right, at that point, this. but um, it, it really isn't. Uh, I was also I was also chatting with them on Discord, too, so that's why uh, <laughs> that's like a little delayed. Step back. Flies. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I remember now. Yeah, I was you hesitating because comments. of the uh, I wanted to revive. That's right. I wanted to revive, so I had to make sure that I chipped her down just enough. And as I drew that one, GG Tatsu. <laughs> This last one uh, versus Booty Pop was actually just everybody on Discord is like hit Booty Pop and and UV was still on the in the Discord team. He's like don't expose me, but I have to say something about this first team. I thought this would be easy. Like I was like okay, just yeah, this, like there's no way like I would lose here. But uh, check this out. Um, it's pretty impressive. I have to say like this team probably was the the closest thing for for me to lose in the SS, SSB DN. C Armin comp. Um, 
Yeah, that, that one, that hits hard. I was like, okay. So that was definitely attack boot, uh, not speed. And uh, just use the Rose uh, CR push to, to gain that. Most likely on a speed set. I'll accept your duel. I'm getting tired of you. Bye bye now. And I actually didn't uh, consider that. That barrier is thick. That was like a full heal. If you see that, that cleanse in the barrier, I'm like, ooh, that's really smart. And she's still left with an attack though. So, honestly, like, theory craft wise, like, this is actually pretty solid. And I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure Booty Pop was building this to, uh, to counter the comp I brought. And I have to say, this is probably the, the closest thing for me to lose. Um, I think uh, Artorio, one of my guild members, was saying that, is this an int? <laughs> because it was close. Um, like, if, if that Lilius would have proc the dual attack on the Tenebria the twice, I think I would have lost Siaman earlier, and then potentially I'd lost my DM. Or, or SSP. But right here, like, this was pretty... This was pretty... Yeah, Rose takes her out, and uh, and then that's it. But uh, at this point, there wasn't anything that uh, that Booty Pop can do because of the uh, because the death breaks on the two biggest threats. Um, oh well, they had low HP as well. And this was helpful too because uh, it would have charged my SSP. Up. So regardless of the turn, so that was a close one too. And of course, uh, Spec Ten of Ria's uh, defense becomes stronger. Uh, as, uh, as there's less people on the map, so that's why I did like no damage to her. Yeah, so here, here I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm grinding her down here, but uh, grinding her HP down for those who are. <laughs> I said grinding her down, flagged. Um, yeah, so. <laughs> This is just pretty beefy. I definitely think that uh, a lot of top players are, are, are seeing Rose to be very good. Um, she lands well with her high speed and in a bruiser meta. She's actually pretty good. I myself, I just can't get her, get my mind over that she's still the way she was before, which is like kind of unusable in the meta, but I definitely see more players use her, especially in RTA as well. Um, uh, if, if we didn't have the Mola issues, I think I would have, uh, I, I would try maybe. But uh, she definitely fits this one. I was I was commenting to uh, to Booty Pop while I was fighting this, and I'm like, yeah, this is the closest I've ever lost. Like close, closest, yeah, closest that I would have lost uh, in this comp. Yeah, I'm try. I'm probably typing here. That's a the the pause. It was tanky though, it was really tanky. Uh, it was a good thing that she couldn't get the uh, S3 buff on herself right before her S2 there. Um, because it does increase her defense and her barrier is skilled on the amount of defense she has. So, because uh, the SSP line of the unbuffable, I, I made sure of that. But it was tanky. Everybody was like, what the frick is this? Like, how tanky is this? Um, because I know my SSB usually hits hard, but uh, like the single target going on to uh, this rose, it was like it was like tickling her, even when I landed a crit. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. I was saying that to him the entire time. I'm like, your team is disgusting, man. Disgusting. <laughs> yeah, 500 damage. All right, so uh, this one uh, definitely. I, I was gonna usually I just default to the S3, but I saw that Charles had no immunity, so this I wanted. To, I was the big greedy here. Um, although it was pretty squishy, he was setting up, uh, but uh, I didn't land the death break. Otherwise, that was that would been a one shot. This was uh, a bit hesitant for me. I was trying to make a decision whether I just do the S3. Um, but the, yeah, the highest priority was, uh, was the, uh, that, the Akates. Um, I did not know if that Kron was on Aliha's knife. Uh, with an attack buff, that would have one-shot my Akates anyways. So, I was kind of, I was kind of hesitant. But I was thought, I was thinking that, okay, the Charles is already technically low. 
Um, so I would, I might be able to just, you know, S3 with a Robby revive Roz at worst case. Is that all you're but, uh, of? because I actually didn't know what ML Haze did, I forgot. Um, but I didn't know how his S3 actually healed anyway. Your life ends uh, here. and he has damage mitigation, of course, in his passive. So, uh, I was kind of, I was kind of thrown back at that. I thought that, uh, and I didn't crit there. Should we get started? I was like, crap, I didn't crit. So here, there, there's a, there was a risk. For this one if i did the i didn't know what uh, booty pop was on in terms of the charles so assuming it's elbrus by default if i did the s3 i got the defense buff up but he would have proc'd s1 maybe and then maybe into s2 and i would have lost my Roz, even though he was fire hero um the hp was too close this one was a little bit better now like after that my heal came back and that dispel on the s1 there is really good for uh, ml haste Let's do this. But I think really Booty Pop was just baiting the uh Purifying Flame. Burn away the evil. Baiting the revive. I I my Robbie actually had um, life. Like could revive, but then I, I thought about it. I'm like, oh no, wait, if I do revive, then ML Haste gets that huge, huge barrier with immunity. Yeah. So uh as much as I could, I, I just didn't uh, want to revive. I almost got baited to doing it though. If I had lost my Raza earlier, I would have not thought about it. Cause to me, like ML Haze to me is like a counter for Arbor to Village would make Chloe mainly. Uh, so I almost didn't think about the uh, ML Haze. Take this. Uh, the A Robbie. Yeah, most people don't build the resist ML Haze. I mean, usually you wouldn't because you would you would be using him in RTA and you most likely won't get debuffed. In terms of you bring him into a counter, counter made counter RB, so kind of pointless. I'll deal with this. Yeah, this probably did great. I was trying to, we were trying to figure out what the artifact was because it wasn't Alexa's. It had too many turns, nothing procked, and it wasn't Aliha's knife since he did multiple S threes and and S one. We didn't see it, but it turned out that he was on a Moonlight Dreamblade, which I think is revealed on this next attack. Step back, fly. Yeah, it was this one, yeah. So you get All that, right, and I was like, this. LOL, Moonlight Dreamblade. He's like Arch, he's like RTA Kron. I'm like, okay, I kind of get it. Go with defense, man. No destiny. You don't. Can stop it doesn't me. matter, even if you go in geared. Yeah, with the attack buff, up, there was uh, uh, sorry, def defense up with the attack buff. There was no way that the K1 would kill me, but I hadn't proc'd him into the immortal at this point, so I was like, eh. But I mean, there's, there was no way I lost I because ready. yeah, booty pop was my final way. fight as well, so there wasn't uh, right. wasn't much risk here. Yeah. I wanted to strip him though with the Ross. I think I do get it. Yeah, yeah, I do. I do strip it. I strip the attack buff. But yeah, Booty went with, uh, it kind of looks like a bruisery k Ron because 12,000 HP is not easy to get on a k Ron. But yeah, RTA k Ron, like he said. But anyways, so that, is the, that is the last fight. Um, yeah, Tats Tatsu was the only fort I fought in this war. But yeah, I hit, I hit this one pretty early though. Um, and since the other guys wanted content. Anyways, I'm gonna end this for the video recording. Love you guys in Trap House. If you guys have Discord, check out the Discord server. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe to YouTube if you haven't. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.